Are you ready to go supersonic? <laughs> hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another review. Today we have the Lego Icons Concord. <laughs> the set number is 10318. The piece count is 2083. It's gonna cost 200 US dollars. It's gonna go on sale September 4th of 2023. I'll have a link down in the description to lego.com. It's affiliated, it helps out the channel. If you so choose to purchase this set, please consider using that link down below. So, to all my Lego fans out there, you might be looking at this airplane and wondering, what the heck is the Concorde? And I was one of those people not too long ago, until I did a little bit of research and found out that this is the most iconic and most innovative airplane of our time, so it's a big deal. For those of you who don't know, the Concorde brought commercially available supersonic aircraft transportation. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, you can go from New York City to London in under three and a half hours, whereas with a conventional airplane, that is six hours. So there's quite a difference when you're going at supersonic speeds. The Concorde is so fast that it actually beats out Earth spinning, meaning the Earth spins at a thousand miles an hour, the Concorde can go 1300 miles an hour. This thing truly is a beast. It's highly regarded in the aviation enthusiast community, which is probably why you've heard so much buzz about this Lego set. It is a big deal that Lego is bringing the Concorde into a set and I think this thing will definitely sell well. Taking a look at the back of the box, you will notice that Lego has included the droop snoop feature, meaning the front of the nose does move up and down for landing. That is very awesome. Not only that, but it looks like the set does have retractable landing gear, a bunch of Technic here. We'll see what that's like during the end depth. And then a little micro interior. So there's actually a little bit more than meets the eye than just obviously the visual presence of the set. Really awesome box art. Like I just, I don't know why, but this white plane, a little blue glow, it looks so good. So menacing on this box, but I do want to thank Lego for sending this over for review. I don't want to talk any more about this box art. Let's get to the end depth of the actual set. So jumping straight into the Concorde, as you can see, this set is so massive. You feel every bit of those 40 inches in length. It is a mammoth of a set. Now I'm happy to report that this aircraft is extremely well built. Basically you can pick up the Concorde anywhere without it feeling like it'll fall apart on you, which is very impressive and is really a testament to the Lego designers that built this set. Next, I wanna highlight one of the coolest functionalities of this set, which is the retractable landing gear. By spinning the back of the tail, you can retract both the back and front landing gear and it's extremely satisfying to do this, as you can see here. Next, we have design. Overall, I think LEGO nailed this. Every main aspect of the Concorde is here. I love what LEGO did by doing a single brick layer for those Delta wings. The Droop Snoop is extremely well designed and in fact utilizes some interesting LEGO elements for that. And there is all printed elements here, which just elevates the premium feeling of this set, which is so nice. And you feel that throughout the entire build. It was actually very seamless. I'm also happy to report that the Droop Snoop functionality is there and is very satisfying to do as well. There's at least a hundred different angles that you can look at this Lego set and really be in awe of. There is so much to love about the Concorde if you're an aviation enthusiast or you have any type of interest in the Concorde vehicle. And unlike a lot of Lego sets, the underside of this aircraft is just as detailed as the top side, which is, again, a nice testament to how much detail and work the designers put into it. On the back of the Delta Wings, you'll notice three separate flaps that you can position in various angles. After that, we have a nice Concorde printed 1x8 piece, as well as the split tail, so that helps with in-flight adjustments. Very cool. Next up, we have the removable stand for the Concorde. I actually really like how LEGO designed this. It's a nice snot technique, studs not on top. And then on the bottom side, you'll see this inverted 4x8 tile that has some nice details that you can pause the video right now and read about. There's also an interior to the Concorde. So if we lift this panel area, you'll see that there is 12 seats here, even though the Concorde could fit 100. And then we also have a little lavatory as well as some other storage bins. It's the same on both sides. It's just a basic mirror of each other. I also really love what Lego has done here with that iconic red strip going all the way down the aircraft. And then you'll also notice those are printed windows on this Lego piece right here. And that carries throughout the entire plane. There's even a little printed two by four tile there and a printed one by six tile. Lots of printed pieces like that Concorde one by eight. 
You'll also find some hidden details underneath the Concorde, like this wheel, which helps during landing so that the aircraft didn't strike the ground. Taking a better look underneath the aircraft, again, you'll see all those details, care and attention that the LEGO designers put into this set. A lot of people aren't really gonna look at the bottom, except for you hardcore aviation enthusiasts out there. But seriously, if you are looking at it, it's very pretty, very well done, and highlights those beautiful engines as well. There's a lot of great snot techniques being utilized here. I love how LEGO is able to integrate that landing gear. I like how the stand fits in as well. It all just seamlessly works together without any issue, including during the build. Last up, to show the scale of the Concorde, let's compare it to some other LEGO sets. So first up here is Space Shuttle Discovery. And as you can see, the Concorde is so much bigger than Discovery. It is crazy seeing these two side by side. I absolutely love the Space Shuttle, but taking a look at both of these, I mean, first off, I think they look really good side by side, but it really just shows how big the Concorde is. Next, I have the Galaxy Explorer, which isn't probably the best comparison, but it does have Delta Wings, so I thought it would be kind of funny to look at both of them. And again, you can see that the Concorde absolutely blows away the Galaxy Explorer in terms of length. I'd say it's at least double the length of the Galaxy Explorer, but keep in mind that there's a $100 difference between these two sets. So I think it's pretty easy to say that this is the best aircraft that LEGO has made. It is truly extraordinary, both in design, functionality, and overall looks and cool factor, it just wins on all those fronts. So what more can I say about the Concorde? If you're an aviation enthusiast watching this review, I think at this point you already know whether you're going to be picking this set up. I think LEGO has done an extraordinary job representing the Concorde in LEGO form here. You know, there's a few nitpicks I can make here and there about a few tiny things like how this cheese slip sticks out with that stud right there. I do wish maybe there was a little micro scale um, cockpit here with two pilot seats and a seat for the engineer. I think that would have been really cool instead of just having the uh, interior of the uh, passenger area. I think some more details would have been nice, but like not the end of the world. I do think the functionality of this landing gear is top notch, definitely just really fun to play with. Even as an adult, I was swooshing around and landing this thing. It, it's a lot of fun. It's not just a model that has to sit on this display stand. You can actually fly this around. You can have fun with it, which I really appreciate. It's super well built. You can grab it in multiple areas. This thing's not gonna fall apart on you. The build experience was actually quite nice. Now, just a helpful tip for everybody. I wouldn't recommend putting the Concorde in front of direct sunlight. It will yellow over time, given that it's almost all white here. So you don't wanna see that changing color into like a more yellowish white uh, over time. It's just never good looking, especially if it just does it in certain spots. If you wanna keep this thing nice and pristine the way I have it here, Put it in a shelf a little higher up, make sure it's a little further away from any windows and you'll be just fine over the years to come. So do I recommend this set for $200? 2,000 pieces, $200, that sounds pretty reasonable. However, when you look at some of the other LEGO products available, you know, at 2,000 plus pieces, say the Viking Village that just got announced, that's got 2,100 pieces and it's $140, $60 less than this. Now, granted, this is a licensed set, it's a much bigger set, uses bigger pieces, has a lot more printed elements, so there's differences there. But it's not the greatest value is what I'm trying to say, but it is so cool looking. You know, the cool factor is very high on this set, and the build experience is great. There's, again, a lot of printed pieces, absolutely no stickers in this set. So that definitely elevates the set into a more premium tier, which helps me justify the $200 price tag. So with all that said, the cool landing gear, the iconic design, all printed pieces here, wonderful build experience. There's not much to complain about here, so I definitely recommend this set. Down below again, you'll find a link to lego.com if you wanna buy the set, take a look at that link. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna be picking up the Concord or not. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day and I'll see you guys later.